I'm still picking that out of my teeth. That is special. Right, back to, <laughs> back to Enterprise Cleaning Services UK Limited now, the company that tempts customers with the offer of a cheap carpet clean, then gets them to agree to an upgrade worth hundreds. I'd never fall for that, you're thinking. Well, sit back and watch how it's done. Back in Portsmouth, an enterprise salesman is trying to persuade our elderly lady to spend a lot more than she planned to. We've already seen step one of his bait-and-switch scheme, which involved bigging up the more expensive service he wants to sell. Now it's time for bait-and-switch step two, rubbishing the service that the customer actually wants to buy. Well, sometimes it will make your carpet look worse. What, a maintenance clean? Yeah. Amazingly, this is true. If your carpet is dirty, the service that Enterprise Cleaning Services UK Limited advertises for £8.99 could make your carpet appear worse because it brings deep down dirt up to the surface. With the maintenance, we're just whizzing over the top, not really getting much dirt up. He's dissing his own product. He's offered her a carpet clean for £8.99. She's entitled to expect a reasonable standard of carpet clean for £8.99. Classic bait and switch. Now, bait and switch, step three, close that sale. It's time to raise the question of what the more effective but more expensive clean will actually cost. A crystal clear comparison is what's needed here, but this is Enterprise Cleaning Services. That's for 8 99 that's 49p a square foot. He's given her the overall price for the cheap one, but he's given her a price per square foot for the other one. Now, particularly if you're dealing with somebody elderly, uh, you shouldn't be explaining things like a price per square foot. You should give them an overall price. I'm sure you've already worked this out, but 49 pence a square foot comes to 113 pounds and 68 pence. The price hike doesn't stop there. In the very top that we do, which includes a 12 month warranty. 16790. Uh, there's a lot of difference between 899 and 167, isn't there? Yeah, it's... Uh. Yeah, £167.90 is more than 18 times as much. Now she's queried it, here comes another tactic. Do you want me to see if I can get this down for you? Is that something you'd be What, 167? Yeah, what is... should I give him a bell? Yeah, you can, do. <laughs> A quick call to the office and the price falls quicker than George Michael's petrol bill. Yeah, so for this entire room to be a beautiful deep clean with all the products and a stain shield, warranted, one, two, six. Uh, no, I'll just go for the 8 99 and just give it a, a bit yeah. of a go. Our elderly actress Sheila has now said no twice, but salesman Chris Cooper is more stubborn than a red wine stain on a cream carpet and hopes it'll be third time lucky. This is Matthew, because this is my last job of the day. I'm going to offer you a cracking deal, £75, to do, and that includes all the chemicals as well. Mm. He's gone back again and again, lowering the price each time. Classic pressure selling techniques. Now, those pressure selling techniques are not illegal, but they're very bad practice and certainly unethical. Yeah. No, just carry on and finish, because I've, I've made up my mind there. Sheila has managed to resist the bait and switch. Many don't. 56 minutes ago, Chris Cooper arrived to clean two carpets for just 8 99 How much time does he spend cleaning them? Just 17 minutes. Right, OK, dear. Right, oh, that one as go. well is it? Right. In a okay. jiffy, the iffy carpet clean is finished and the Enterprise cleaner is off. Thank you. Bye-bye. So Enterprise is using this 8 99 thingy to get into your house and then trying to sell you a more expensive service. Oh, yeah. It's the old bait and switcheroo. And it's been illegal since the 26th of May 2008. What a day. And do all day salesmen do this? Hard to tell, but there is one way to find out. Moly. Yes, Frank the Mole. We can't tell you his real name, but it's also Frank. That should fool them. Yeah, we've never been brilliant at aliases. Uh, undercover filming, however, we have got the hang of. And just wait till you see what Frank captures on his concealed camera.